This screencast will show you how to create a form for your event. Create a form for your event, you'll go to Manage Services and down to Forms. Scroll down and choose Add Form. Select a name or title for your form. Select a URL identifier. This ID will be used to access this form by URL. Create a description of this form. Choose if this form will be public or private. If you choose public, all users will be able to see it. And for private, only people who have access to Extranet will be able to. For fillable times, this will be how many times each user can fill out this form, either unlimited or limited to how many. Valid from, this will be when it will be valid. Valid until is how long that this form will be valid, either forever or select a date. For a template to use this form, select any of the following. Enable anti-spam control, select yes or no. Enable social bookmarking, select yes or no. For status workflow, put it in the order that you would like it to show on your form. Examples are provided for you. Select the language. Put your notification sender's name and your notification sender's email. You can select if you want to email the person who fills out the form and you can be notified every time someone that fills out the form and provide the email that you would like to be notified at. Select what form will be used by this service. And for import fields, you can add any of these fields in just one click. For submit data, all the form's data will go to this other URL if you want to use it on another CSM. If you have any other questions, you can put the mouse to the title and it will provide you a description of what it means. Press create. and you can see that your form will be there, appeared on the screen. If you select Edit Fields, you can see that you are able to edit any of the following on your form. You can go down to the bottom and press Add, and you can select a field type. For example, we do Display Title, select a field ID, and select the text line for each of the following languages. As you fill this out, on the bottom, you see that it says position. You can position this to any part of your form that you choose. And you can change the order as well. So if you scroll down to the bottom, you see your display title for position number 17. If you would like to change that, you can change any of the following numbers to make it either above the other number or below it. And you press Save Order, and you see that it is now switched. To select another, you can press Add. And for example, we'll do Input Text. Select a field ID and type in to what relates to what you're adding. Provide each for each language. Scroll down. You can select the position as well for this one. and press add. 
you notice that if you scroll down to the bottom, you see it as well. Press save all fields. And if you go messages, you can edit any of the following. Header, footer, thank you, notify to sender, form has been expired, and form is not active yet. For example, if you edit the thank you, you type in what you wanted to say in the box. Thank you will appear when the person submits their form and also when they receive the email. Scroll down to click modify and there you'll see it above. If you go over to forms, you will see it right there onto your form list and for operations you can edit it, delete your form, or preview your form. For your status of your form, if you click online, then you can unpublish it from the AbCore website. You press OK, and you scroll over, and you press offline. You can publish it again. Press OK. And this is what your final form will look like. And that is how you make a form. Thank you for watching.